Hi there, Toy here, and today I'm shooting a very quick video in my countdown to con season. And if you saw the intro, you know that today is all about Ravencon. So, first of all, B2B SciCon is over, done with, it was fun, and um, if you haven't seen the wrap up that I did for that, <laughs> check, check the channel, and um, hopefully I'll have some links for you to check that out. I still have um, Tidewater Comic Con coming up in May, and I'm so excited, I just got my booth number for that, but I'll give you more details on that as it gets closer. And before I jump into, you know, what I'm going to talk about today, RavenCon, I do have a couple of updates. Um, let me get out my notes because I don't want to forget anything. So yeah. Oh yeah, the first thing I'm really excited about. So, um, one of my books was nominated for an award. Chip and Skip Need Each Other was nominated for a SIBA. It's the Summer Indie Book Awards. And, um... I believe it's Metamorph Publishing. They're a small press. They um, they release independent books. And, um, you know, I don't care if they're small press, if they're a large press, who cares? I was nominated and I'm so excited. I don't believe the voting will happen until September, but it, I really am just excited to be nominated. So, yeah. Uh, and I'll leave a link um, down below if you want to learn more about that. Oh, yeah. This will tie into Ravencon a little bit, but I just feel like sharing. Um, the Ravencon will actually be next weekend, which is why you're getting this video now. And it will be April 28th, 29th, and 30th. And April 28th, while my husband and I are at the opening ceremonies, secretly we will be celebrating our wedding anniversary. So yeah, it'll be our wedding anniversary on April 28th and it'll be 12 years that we've been together and so I'm just really happy about that and we're totally cool with having our wedding anniversary at Ravencon. I mean, if you're a geek, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> Alright, so let's see and um, oh yeah, real quick, if you're watching this video, uh, I hope it means that you've subscribed to my channel but even if it's just something that you came upon, maybe someone shared it with you, I just want to say thank you. Um, it's really hard to do this. I know it may not seem like it because I'm, you know, speaking clearly and everything, but I have to psych myself up to do these videos. And I'm actually going to be working on some new content um, pretty soon to try to be even more open and to not just focus on the books and the geek stuff that I love so much, but maybe kind of, you know, really connect with some of you out there. And if you're up for it, I would really, really love to interact with you. But even if not, I just want to say thank you for, you know, making it this far. So now let's get into the RavenCon. So I am so excited to be one of the guests this year. Um, I did the event before where I just set up, you know, an author table. I was in the art, um, author alley. And that was fun because I got to meet a lot of other authors. I got to see all the, you know, people who were attending the event come by my my booth and you know check out my stuff and that was where you know my comfort level kind of had climaxed you know I've gone to the comic cons and you know things like that and I've always kind of played that same role just you know the author behind the booth and so for this event I will be on panels and I gotta tell you I'm feeling extremely intimidated uh, but I'm gonna do it I mean I'm not gonna chicken out or anything like that it's just you know I'm going to be up there with some very well established people and we'll be discussing things, we'll be getting questions from the audience and yeah, it's going to be interesting. So I just thought I would share some of the events um, that I'll be participating in at the RavenCon. So Friday where, when everything kicks off, before the opening ceremony there will be well, a private meet and greet. For the guests and I'm really looking forward to that because I want to you know try to connect with some of the guests before we end up having to be on panels and things together and you know maybe um, get some wisdom and insight from maybe some veterans who've done this you know before because this will be my first time um, I've, I've done one other panel at a local event um, but since I kind of helped put that together 
I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, it's different. This is, I'm in a completely different element here. So, and then, of course, later on that evening, there will be the opening ceremonies. So I'm looking forward to that. Then on Saturday is where it all begins. So I believe um, there's a group of authors who we've, we've connected online and, and, and other events. We're going to kind of get together and help each other out. So we're going to be like in the, in the big room, the dealer room. But when we're not in the room, you know, at the table, meeting people and selling our wares, we'll be, you know, um, guests in different capacities. So some of the panels that I will be on are listed here. Um, I will be doing a panel on writing tools. Um, we'll be comparing analog versus digital. You know, there are a lot of people who still to this day write things out in notebooks and that ends up what becoming their manuscript. The first book I wrote, I kind of did like that because I didn't really know what I was doing. I thought it was just taking notes and it ended up being like a stack like this thick of notes. <laughs> but um, I don't do a whole lot of that now. Most of what I do is digital. So I'm really, you know, interested to be on that panel and discuss that. I will also be on another panel that will be all about self-publishing. And since that's the route that I am currently taking, I thought that would be a perfect thing for me to um, shed some light on, give my insights, and then, you know, get some from the other people on the panel. I did, you know, pursue the traditional publishing route there for a little bit, kind of did a little hybrid thing there, and it just, you know, self-publishing was what worked best for me. It's not for everyone, and that's okay. So I'm excited about that, and now this next one I think is just going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> this one is called Cutting the Cable Cord. I I don't I hope this is going to be as good as I expect. This is basically going to be talking about the um, dynamic shift in you know our entertainment world. It used to be people would you know what they called appointment TV now, where they had to be you know sitting on their couch Thursday at eight o'clock to get the best shows. Well, not anymore with Netflix and Hulu and Amazon TV. The whole, you know, the way we get our entertainment is changing, not just, you know, television entertainment, but even movie theaters, you know. So I am very excited about that panel. I just think it's going to be fun. I don't even know if I have anything to contribute. I just want to be there to hear what everyone's going to be saying. And also, I'll be doing a live reading, and I think that is the thing that I am most nervous about. I know you're probably thinking, didn't you just shoot a video where you were reading in front of your camera? Yeah, I did. I was reading in front of my camera. I was not reading in front of a live audience. <laughs> so um, that's going to be interesting. I, you know, I don't like the sound of my voice. I'm just going to be honest about that. Um, I like the sound of my voice when I'm not speaking out loud. If I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone, I don't think about the sound of my voice. But doing this, this is one of the reasons why this is hard. So just imagine how much more difficult it's going to be in front of a large <laughs> audience. So yeah, I'll be doing a reading. And then um, the last panel that I will do will be called um, Planning Your Book as a Series. And again, this is one of those panels where I've done this and I'm going to be sharing my insights, but I'm really hoping to get some insights from some of the other people participating on the panel because um, I have one series that I, two, well, three series that I'm currently working on. And one of them, I when I started it, I was not planning it as a series. The other two, I have been planning it as a series. Uh, one of them is progressing better than the other. So there's a lot of different perspective that I'll be, you know, bringing to the table. And I'm very excited about that. And so those are the main things. Oh, hold on. I forgot to mention some of the people who will be there. And I will include links below if you want to research some of these people. You might know some of them already, especially if you're into um, science fiction and fantasy. But our, our main guest author, the guest of honor for this event is Mercedes Lackey. And I've heard of her, but I've never actually read any of her stuff. She's one of those authors that um, if you are into the genre you've heard of, and um, I've seen copies of her paperback. She has a, a bunch of different really cool series. Um, and I do mean a bunch, so you can look her up. The artist guest of honor, which I'm not familiar with him, but his name is Larry Dixon. And he has a wonderful profile set up on the Raven Pond page. You can look him up. The uh, Another guest author um, is Chuck Gannon. 
And um, I couldn't find him on Goodreads, but I did find him on Amazon. And when I saw uh, what he had, um, it looked familiar, but again, it wasn't something that I had read. So I'm, I'm doing my homework on these people because obviously I should be paying more attention to them because they are where I want to be. So, but anyway, it's a really cool lineup. I, I went on to the Ravicon page and I looked at the, you know, the bios on all these different people and they sound amazing. So you should check them out too and see, you know, if that's something you're interested in. Even if you can't make it to Williamsburg, Virginia to, you know, be at the Ravencon event, follow it on social media. You might see some really cool things come up. But anyway, I'm very excited about it. And um, yeah, uh, that's all I have. So bye-bye for now.